This is an audiobook for fan fiction named True God of Creation in the Multiverse by none other than yours truly, Ikami Samu underscore 1126. This is the part one of this series, containing chapters from 1 to 5. Synopsis After death, a man meets with the physical manifestation of the will of the multiverse. Will of the multiverse provides him the opportunity to be the next god of creation of the multiverse. The book version of this story is being uploaded on Scribblehub and Web Novel every Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's start the story from Chapter 1. Chapter 1 New Life NGH I regain consciousness with a little bit of a headache. On opening my eyes I found myself sitting on a sofa inside a living room with someone hugging my right arm. When I turned to my right, I saw a 06-year-old girl with creamy violet hair soundly sleeping beside me, while hugging my right arm. Then I tried to recall my name and who is the girl beside me. While I was trying to do so, Suddenly my head started to ache and in just a few seconds it got a bit strong and I felt like I am having a really strong hangover after drinking a lot. Then at that time I started remembering my past. My name was, an orphan from birth, finished my studies at the age of 22 and was employed at an MNC for 7 years with a yearly package of $308,249. I was single for the whole 29 years of my life. I also used to donate most of my salary to orphanages and other organizations. My only hobbies were reading light novels, manga, and watching anime. I was also interested in music. I died at the age of 27 years in a truck accident after which I found myself in a white room with the most beautiful girl I have seen in my whole life in front of me. The girl introduced herself as the will of the multiverse and told me that I am chosen for the position of the next Gok. After that, the girl explained to me about the job of the Gok which was simple, I will have 1 million years before I take over the job Gok. During this time I will be trained in handling origin energy, which is the origin of every energy known in all the universes. It is also the origin from which everything is created in the multiverse and only those who have permission from the will of the multiverse can use it. When I take over the job of the Gok, I will just have to recreate the destroyed universes that took only one day per universe with the number of such universes being 10 to 20 per year. Other than that I am allowed to live my life as I want. Then I asked her if I will get any wishes to which she replies that I will be given 5 wishes besides the wishes of keeping my memories, a new appearance with 2 modifications, race, permission to select the world of my choice to be reborn, or transmigrated into with 3 history modification chances. I decided on my final choices after a month-long discussion with Maya, the name of the will of the multiverse who became a very good friend of mine during the discussion. First I decided on an alternate universe of Harry Potter to be transmigrated into, with the body of a 06-year-old boy in 1989, with my background being that I am the sole survivor of the most ancient wizarding family in the entire world about whom only a few people know about in the today's world. They have been living in seclusion for the last five centuries. Almost all the people who knew about their existence have passed away with time and now there is only one couple in the outside world who rarely contacts them. During this period of five centuries, Almost every member of this family was magic fanatics, who spent their whole lives researching different branches of magic and finding or creating new spells. Now, after their deaths, all the knowledge and property collected by them is my property, with the knowledge being securely stored in the secret place in the library with a very powerful magical artifact that is said to be even stronger than the three deathly hollows. I used all three history modification chances to do the following changes. One. The Greencross family was not a part of Voldemort's stock faction, they were neutral during the whole ordeal. 2. On the day of Voldemort's death, it was Harry's grandparents who sacrificed their life instead of his parents who were not at home at that time due to some work. 3. Harry Potter has a twin sister, Elizabeth Potter, a childhood friend of Daphne Greencross. As for my appearance, I decided to start with the appearance of a new six-year-old boy with night black hair and blood red eyes. As same as I was in my previous life but more handsome, with two body modifications being as follows. 1. Being a metamorphosis from birth. 2. I have the bloodline of primordial void spirit dragon. As for my race, I choose to go with a modified human race, that has no genetic flaws and hence is ageless with no limit to its growth. As for my five wishes, they are as follows. The first wish, 
I want an inner world the same one that the MC of bringing the farm to live in another world novel had with a little bit of modification, it will have a spirit caretaker that has a consciousness of her own, who will always be loyal to me and will help me in taking care of the world with some other minor modifications. The second wish, I want a gamer's system, with an additional multiverse travel feature. The third wish, I want talent for everything present in the multiverse so that I can learn and do anything I want. But still, my progress in that said thing should depend on the amount of effort I put into that thing. The fourth wish, I want the devour skill from those anime and manga which will grant me unique abilities, or skills, with the knowledge of my choice when I use devour on different things. For example, if I use devour on the mana crystal of the monster that had a special skill before I killed it, then I can get that skill if I want. Or if I use devours on the body, living or dead, of an intelligent being then I can get its skills with the knowledge it knew before its death. The fifth wish, it is more like a request, I want Maya the will of the multiverse to accompany me in my new life as my wife. After hearing my fifth wish Maya was utterly bewildered, please don't think that I am a scumbag. I wished it was because during your month-long discussion both of us started to like each other very much to the point that at the end of the month we were just like an unofficial couple. Maya happily agreed to be a part of my family and with that, my memories ended with my headache subsiding slowly. When I opened my eyes again I found myself sitting on the sofa in the living room of my house inside my inner world with Maya, whose appearance is now that of a five-year-old girl sleeping beside me. I remained seated on the sofa for 30 minutes as I pat Maya's head while thinking of my plans. Chapter 2 Gamer's system is online. After half an hour of thinking about my future, I got hungry so I decided to cook food for myself and Maya. After I covered Maya with a blanket, I went into the kitchen where I summoned the physical manifestation of the spirit of my inner world. With that command a 30 cm small fairy appeared in front of me. It has waist-length green hair and green eyes, and a pair of rainbow-colored butterfly wings. On seeing me she gives a bow and says greeting master. I am the physical manifestation of the spirit of your inner world. In return, I also introduced myself. Hi, my name is Evan Starling. Please call me by my name from now on. As for your name, I can give you one, if you prefer. Of course master Evan, it would please me very much. Says the spirit with a small smile on her face. Okay. Let me think a little. Then I started thinking and then I said how about Astrid? It means fair or beautiful goddess. Hearing that she flew around me in happiness and sat on my shoulder in the end and said thank you Master Evan for giving me a name. Then I asked her to bring me vegetables, meat, eggs, and fruits so that I can make food for the three of us, which also includes Astrid. She told me that she can also eat and convert it into energy inside her body. While cooking? I made small talks with Astrid and learned that she will also grow with time. After cooking the food for the three of us, I woke up Maya. I shake her shoulder and in response, she says, hm, just five minutes more. Then I put my mouth near her ear and said wake up, I have cooked food for us. Hearing that she groggily opens her eyes and when I see into her deep ocean blue eyes directly, I get mesmerized by them but I quickly come back to reality as I hear Maya say please carry me to the table, to me while rubbing her eyes. I carried her to the dining table in a princess carry at her request and gently put her on the chair. Then I introduced Maya to Astrid and we started eating. At the first bite of the food, the eyes of both girls started shining and they said at the same time so tasty. I smiled at their reaction as cooking was one of the things that I was very good at in my past life since I was cooking for myself from the age of 18, and 11 years is enough for someone to reach a professional level in cooking if he or she loves to eat tasty food. After they finished eating the first service they asked for the seconds and after that, we went into the living room where I sat on the sofa with Maya on my right and Astrid on my left shoulder. Then I asked my Maya can you activate my system dear? She gives me a nod with a smile and touches my forehead with her forefinger and at that time something inside my soul unlocks with the sound of a click. Then a blue hologram screen appears in front of me with a message written on it. Gamers system is online and ready to use. System welcomes the host. System has the following features in it status, quantify the current attributes and skills of the host, skill list, a list of all skills, 
where users can buy any skill of the world they are currently in or have visited in the past or can upgrade the existing ones in exchange for skill points. Inventory, it provides infinite space for the host, to store non-living things under the effect of spatial, time, and thermal suspension. Shop, allow the host to buy anything in the multiverse in exchange for karma points. Party, allow party members to use features of the system, with an option to change the race party member into high human full or partially. Instant Dungeon, allow the host to create an instant dungeon in a separate dimension with monsters strength inside them, and its appearance will be decided by the host. Important Note, inside the dungeon, monsters are created by absorbing the sins, dark emotions, and malaise that is left in the multiverse after the death of the living beings. Quest. It provides the host with a quest based on the possible future affecting actions of the host. Multiverse travel locked. Allow the host and his friends to travel between different worlds. Unlock after reaching level 25. Then I mentally selected the status feature to open and a new screen appeared in front of us. Status. Evan Starling. 5 years slash o. Male. High human comma undis. Level. 1. Next level progress, 0 100 XP. Title, HP, 1000 1000, end. 100, regeneration, 200 per minute. MP, 2, 500 halves, 500, ether, N. 10, regeneration, 500 per minute. Strength, 50 less than normal adults have max. 20 greater than. Endurance, 100 less than normal adults have max. 20 greater than intelligence 60 less than normal adults have max 35 greater than agility 50 less than normal adults have max 20 greater than ether energy 250 regeneration 5 per minute combination of both mana and chakra that contains properties of both types of energy less than adult wizard have 1000 greater than origin energy locked unlock at level 50 luck 200 charm 180 karma 73590 stats points 0 5 stats points on every level up attribute stats can be increased by training and other things skill pt colon 50 on every level up 2s.p will be added skills myers blessing special the blessing granted by the strongest being in existence the will of the multiverse my lover get stronger xran Grants a 10% increase in experience and an increased recovery during sleep. Destruction. X rank. If the host's life is in mortal danger, Maya will force the host to transfer back to Haven and destroy that enemy along with everything in the world. Unique skills. Talent. Unique skill. Metamorphosis. Unique skill. Dragonification. Unique skill. Passive skills. Talent. Rank. X. Devour. Rank. X. Language comprehension. Metamorphosis, a rare magical ability to change their physical appearance through sheer will alone. Magnification, the host has a hidden dragon inside him. Through animagus transformation the user can slowly harness the power of the said dragon, and with training, the user will be able to increase his control over the power of the said dragon and as user control increases users will receive some dragon traits and advantages and with full control over his inner dragon user will become a half dragon himself only if the user's race is comparable to dragon race in terms of potential, otherwise user's dragon blood will devour his original bloodline. Chapter 3 New Skills and World Level Ups Seeing the skills granted to me by Maya's blessing, special, both me and Astrid become wide-eyed and look at Maya at the same time, who starts to fake ignorance to our gazes as she averts her eyes but I was able to notice a slight blush on her cheeks. Maya I called her name but she didn't reply, so I pulled her in my lap and gave her a tight hug and said to her in a sweet voice Maya, my love, thank you for such a blessing to which she weakly said, it's nothing. Oh. Maya my love how can this be nothing? It's very precious to me and it's only fair if I were to give you a gift of equal importance to you in return and for that, you have to close your eyes. I said and after some persuasion from me, Maya finally closed her eyes. Then I moved my head closer to her and kissed her on her lips as I hugged her tighter. Maya, feeling my lips on her lips, 
quickly opened her eyes wide in surprise and tried to run due to embarrassment but failed because of my hug. And after some struggle, she just accepted her reward and enjoyed the feeling. The kiss only ended after a minute when both of us couldn't hold our breaths any longer. Regaining our breaths we continue to look at the system feature, this time the quest feature as it was blinking with Maya still sitting in my lap. Quest, name the spirit of your inner world, completed. Requirements, give a name to the spirit of your inner world. Rewards, one natural world magic, rank, D. Due to having a great affinity with nature, it allows the host to manipulate nature at will. Its power and capabilities increase with the rank. 2 Seed of the Tree of Life It was a really big surprise when I saw the rewards. In excitement, I even kissed Astrid on her right cheek, due to which her face reddened in embarrassment, and to hide it she buried her face into my neck. Then Maya told me to open my inventory and open my starter's pack. The starter's pack was a lidded box from the 22nd century with a color scheme of metal dark blue with many crystal red lines running all over it. As I opened the starter's pack, I found two tennis ball-sized crystal balls, one black, and one reddish green, a thick leather book decorated with 11 different stones arranged in a circular formation at the center of its cover. Then there is a necklace with a silver chain and a red marble at its center held by a dragon claw made up of the same material as the necklace's chain. Lastly, a bluish white egg inside a bluish white egg incubator with coldness emanating from it that can be felt from a distance. As I look at Maya who is still sitting in my lap. She says just pick one of the two crystal balls in your hand and try to break them as you thought of absorbing it. Doing as she instructed, I picked up a reddish green colored crystal ball and broke it while thinking of absorbing it. It broke easily in my hands scattered into golden particles, and then was absorbed by my body. Then a system notification screen appears in front of me. By Eringen, unique skill, these eyes are the combination of both Sheringen and by Akrigen. Their growth depends on the amount and purity of energy used in nourishing them. By this message, I understand that these crystal balls are skill orbs, but to get this skill in the starter's pack. But I will not complain about it as getting things that make me stronger is always welcome. As thank you, I give Maya a lip kiss. For a minute this time, I also kissed Astrid on her cheeks just to enjoy her reaction. After doing the same thing with the black balls and I got Guru Guru no me acquired a devil fruit from the one piece universe with no weakness like seawater it allows the user control over vibrations as for the book maya told me that it's a grimoire its name is hymn of nature and spirits it's a rank wait let me buy you a sunglass with appraisal and god language skills for you and connect it with your system then maya bought cool looking sunglasses and when i looked at the grimoire in my hands after wearing them the following information about them appeared in my mind. Him of nature and spirits, a rank, a grimoire attuned to achieve true harmony with nature and spirits. The 13 different colored stones on its cover represent different elements, earth, wind, fire, water, lightning, light, shadow, time, space, life, death, creation, and destruction. Spellbook contains the core concept of all 13 elements of nature alongside various magic spells of the basic seven natural elements. Wise Sage, increases wisdom and intelligence by your understanding of this grimoire. Then I took the necklace into my hand and a system prompt appeared in front of my eyes. Soul Weapon, it is a soul weapon created by the strongest existence Maya for her husband Evan. Its shape can be changed with imagination. It will become stronger with its partner's growth. There is a very high chance that it will gain a weapon spirit with time, which will allow it to have skills of its own. Then I picked up the incubator with the egg inside it. Then a system prompt appears in front of my eyes. Ice Phoenix Egg Ice Phoenix is a rare species of the phoenix. It can control blue flames that are said to vary from million degrees to zero Kelvin in temperature. It can also control ice, water, wind, and fire. To start the egg hatching process please drop a bit of your blood on the egg and it will hatch after one month. Doing as the instructions say, I drop a bit of my blood on the bluish white egg which absorbs it and shins a little then I put it back into the egg incubator and put it in a safe place in my room. After all that, I and Maya cuddled a little. Astrid was also dragged by Maya halfway. Then the three of us decided to take a walk through my inner world. When we step out of the house and look at it from the outside, we see a three-story modern house. There is nothing much currently in the inner world, 
except to ten acre of land on which different crops and fruits were growing with an animal wrench in a different dimension connected to the main one that contains chickens, and many other animals. A warehouse where all the products are stored after being matured including plants and animals. A shop to sell and buy products in exchange for gold coins. The things that are available to buy are based on the level of the inner world. All in all my inner world is still level 1 but it will change shortly. As we ended our small walk around the farmland in my inner wolf, Maya said to me dear, let us plant the seed of the tree of life near our house, I am sure your inner world level will jump high. Dot dot okay dear, let's plant it near our house. I said a little while pondering if it were a good idea to plant it near our house. Then the three of us walked a little further about 30 meters from our house and I dug a 5 centimeter hole in the ground, barring the seed inside it, and covered it with mud. Then a system prompt appears in front of me. Ding! The system has detected a new species of plant, named, the tree of life. In a world level ups to level 2. In a world level ups to level 3. Dot in a world level ups to level 20. Ding. Now money gold coins, from the inner world can be carried out into the real world and be used there. Map feature of the inner world unlocked. Dot in a world level ups to level 30. Ding. Teleportation through the map feature of the inner world unlocked. Dot in a world level ups to level 45. Ding. 1000 docks of new farmland have been unlocked requiring 100 gold coins to use unlocked farmland. Due to reaching the level, 40 farmland and ranch are combined to create a proper world to live in. Dash the author here. For those who don't understand what just happened here, let me explain a little. The inner world that the MC has in the novel bringing the farm to live in another world is a world in which the inner world grew in size as the world level ups and that world level ups by scanning and saving the data of different things like a magic plant or other species and other things from the outside world. This type of inner world will never stop growing as long as there are still things outside that are scanned and stored into their own database. As for the map feature of the inner world, it scans the surroundings of its host when he is outside of it and creates a 3D map of it, and through teleportation feature, its host can teleport at any point that is recorded in the map in a blink of the eye. To know more about the inner world, Please read the novel Bringing the Farm to Live in Another World. I myself am a big fan of the novel. I am just using the idea of the inner world in my story. Dash Chapter 4, Training and New Family Member When all the system notifications finally ended I was in a big shock, as with just one plant my inner world jumped 45 levels in one go and the features just unlocked are like one of the biggest cheats I can get from it. As I am thinking all this I hear the laughing voices of Maya and Astrid who are laughing on the ground while grabbing their stomachs as they look at my shocked expressions. When I look at them and see them laughing my expression of shock changes into one of mischief. Then I started tickling both of them using my 50 agility and they started to laugh uncontrollably. I didn't take it to the extreme, just left it after 30 seconds. Then I lie down in the grass. I looked at the sky as the wind caressed my face and I said to myself it feels good to be a kid again. I even in my wildest dream didn't think of living a life of a child again. Then I hear an unexpected answer from Maya, who lies beside me with a sleeping Astrid in her arms and says in life, many things that we can't even think of happening, happen many times, like me falling in love with you Evan. Then she uses my arm as a pillow and continues in my whole life. I never thought of falling in love with someone. I spent my whole life watching different events in different worlds. I saw the end and start of many universes but I never imagined a time when I will have someone like you, who I will start to love from the depth of my heart just after spending two weeks. When you were stating your wishes I had a small hope in my heart that you would ask me to come with you and when you asked that as your last wish, I was unable to believe it happened. After that, Maya looks into my eyes which are filled with pure love and I kiss her forehead and pull her into a hug while taking care not to wake up Astrid. Till the next day Tilda. After breakfast, Maya, Astrid, and I were in the yard in front of the house. I am sitting cross-legged while meditating to unlock my ether energy, and thinking of how to use my skill points after a discussion with Maya and Astrid later. As written on my status board. Ether energy is combined energy with having the characteristics of both mana and chakra. For now, it's a combination of both mana and chakra, 
I didn't know about its properties and I also didn't ask Maya about it as I wanted to find out for myself. As I was meditating I tried to feel a strange feeling inside me and after an unknown time had passed I finally felt something inside me that is flowing through every part of my body and on following the source of this feeling, I found its source which is at the same place as my heart. After a minute of focusing on my heart, my consciousness is pulled into endless space with a soccer ball sized red orb of energy floating in the space freely. When I was just looking at the red orb in front of me, Maya suddenly appeared beside me and said congratulations Evan. Come you managed to enter Mindscape on your first try within 5 hours. What do you mean by 5 hours? It's only 30 minutes ever since I started meditating, I said to Maya as it's been only 30 minutes since I started meditating. It might be 30 minutes for you but in reality, you have been meditating for the last 5 hours, said Maya. Then I understood that my perception of time slowed when meditating. Then I asked Maya about this place and she replied it is my mind space where I will create my mind palace in the future as I study a clumency. As for the red orb floating in front of us. It represents the ether energy I have, currently, its light red color represents the density of my ether energy. It will grow in size as my energy reserves grow. After that, I and Maya came out of my mindscape into the real world. Then I tried to find everything about my ether energy, and in two days I found out that it contains the good points of both mana and chakra. Like mana, its amount will grow with me continuously emptying my reserves and unlike chakra. I will not die even after my ether reserves get empty. I will only feel a bit powerless and drain mentally and physically when my ether reserves get empty. On the fourth day, I managed to take a look inside my energy orb and found it to be filled with ether energy which is present in the form of gas. In a later discussion with Maya about it, I found out that the state of energy inside my energy orb represents the intensity of my energy and it goes like this, gas liquid semi-solid with semi-solid being the last stage possible for energy of living being as only after the death of one being does his energy solidifies. In the first week, I only work on my energy control starting with the leaf sticking exercise then I move on to make threads out of ether energy and try to manipulate them. My energy control greatly improved with these two exercises in four days. Then I started practicing tree walking and then water walking while working on a clumency as I created my mind palace with all of my memories inside it as memories books. In only two weeks I reached 76% in energy control skill which I got on the second day of my energy control training. I also got energy shape manipulation, which is derived from energy control at the start of my second week due to my playing with energy threads. During these two weeks, the seed of the tree of life that we planted 30 meters away from our house has also grown to 5 meters. As for the egg of the ice phoenix, it will have one more week to hatch. I have also been giving it a small amount of ether energy of mine. While doing energy control training I am also doing physical training. Saitama Sensei training which resulted in me gaining an average of 3 to 5 stats points in the attributes of strength attack power, intelligence thinking speed and wisdom, endurance constitution, stamina, regeneration, and agility speed, dexterity. At the start of the third week, I started practicing basic stances of hand-to-hand -hand fighting and swordsmanship. Then I entered the instant dungeon on the fourth day of the third week for the first time where I fought against mindless zombies of levels 1 to 4, with dungeon boss Solo being at level 5. In only two days I killed all the zombies and the zombie boss, reaching level 4 with an average of 45 in all of my attributes except my charm attribute which is 130. Till the 31 th of September 1985, one month after Evan came to Harry Potter's world tilde. In the morning after completing my daily physical training and breakfast, Maya and Astrid were in the living room with an ice phoenix egg outside of the egg incubator on the table in front of us. We were patiently waiting for the egg to hatch with stopped breaths. Then I felt a feeling of happiness from the egg through our bond. Then the first crack appeared on the top of the egg. It then slowly spreads over the whole egg as it started to shake and in the end with a pop the small head of the ice phoenix popped out of the eggshell as it cautiously looked at all of us, which I felt through the bond between us. When it particularly looked at me, it chirped in happiness which I also felt through the bond. Then the little phoenix started to break whatever was left of the eggshell and when he was freed from its shell, 
it started to walk towards us with its small legs. At first, the baby ice phoenix was stumbling and falling on every step but after some time it started to walk perfectly and reached the edge of the table where I carefully lifted it in my hand and patted its head with my finger making it happy, and it let out a loud chirp. That day, I only practiced for one hour. Through that day and a few of the next upcoming days Maya, I, and Astrid were focused on the new member of our family. After a long discussion, we named the little blue and white phoenix Amarin, Astrid's choice. Amarin refers to a royal girl who is very gentle and soft-spoken, and also refers to the blue sky. Chapter 5, Four Years Later Four years later, 25th December, I was currently walking towards a coffee house at the business alley, that is beside the diagonal alley, while using my metamorphmagus ability to look like a 20-year-old boy while wearing a coat with a hood over my head which makes it possible for other people to only look at the lower part of my face. After entering the coffee shop, one can see a dozen tables with people sitting on them making small talkies as the waiter and waitresses take their orders. Then I moved towards the reception and said to the receptionist, I reserved a private room under the name of William Celsius. Please wait a minute. Yes, we have a reservation under your name. Then the receptionist called a waitress and said to me, This one will guide you to your reserved room. I nodded in acknowledgement and followed the waitress to my reserved room. As for why I am here and I am disguised, it all started four years ago. Dash flashback, four years ago. One day while I was thinking of investing some of my money into the Maya world while sitting on the sofa in my living room with Maya and Astrid, while these two played with Imran, as I was thinking I got a new quest saying, Quest. Become the richest man in both the wizarding and non-wizarding side of the world and get a possible wife for yourself. Uncomplete. Info. The wealth of the Celsius family has been on the decline for years due to poor management. And now that you have inherited the said family, it is now your responsibility to make it prosperous once again. Task. Start investing in both the wizarding and non-wizarding sides of the world and become a millionaire in just four years. Condition. Appoint Ted Tunks as your lawyer through Gringotts and show him your talent in investment and become good friends with him. Rewards, become good friends with the Tunks couple during the next four years and get an invitation to dinner on Christmas night at Tunks home and meet with Dora and make good friends with her and possibly be engaged to her in the future. Accept, deny. When I read the quest I involuntarily said what the FCK. It's not like I have never received any quest after naming Astrid. I got quests like reaching the intermediate level in mystical arts in three months and others. But none of them were like this. Then I heard Maya's voice from my side what happened and then I saw her and Astrid reading the quest details with Amarin seated on the head of the former one. After they finished reading the quest, they heard Maya saying at last it came, I have been waiting for it for the last month. Which was unexpected for me. What do you mean why? I asked Maya in confusion. Well. I sometimes also add some quest of my own into your system from time to time and this one is created by me. I also knew that you wanted to create a large family in your previous life but couldn't find someone of your match. In deep down your heart, you are still longing for a big family and I also want the same. That's why I created this quest and many others like this for the future said Maya to me, leaving me speechless. Dash flashback end, after a talk with Maya. I accepted the quest, and the first thing I did after that was to visit the Celsius family mansion, located on one of their personal islands, hidden from the rest of the world. On that island, after doing a ritual I officially inherited the Celsius family which also reflects in my status sheet as now my name in it is Evan Starling Celsius. Then I did some research and got myself a fake identity under the name of William Celsius a 15 years old boy at that time with a fake background through Gringotts in exchange for gold. After doing some more research I decided to take the same route as many wizarding families. I contacted the Gringotts and asked them to give me the contact information of lawyers that can help me in investing money in the Maal world. After rejecting six lawyers I appointed Ted Tunks as my personal lawyer. After six months he and I became good friends and I finally appointed him as my permanent personal lawyer and in the current time I am near to becoming a billionaire after I invested in many companies like Warner Brothers, Vodafone, Huawei, etc., and while in companies like Microsoft and Intel I have bought 40% of their stocks that are located in the non-wizarding side of the world. As for the wizarding side of the world, 
I own 40% shares in both Daily Profit and Firebolt company alongside owing 20-30% shares in many wizarding companies in almost all wizarding communities worldwide. Last year, I again received a quest created by Maya when I went to France. There I got a quest to save Fleur de Licor who was kidnapped by some smugglers. That quest led me to save Fleur from the kidnappers and become a friend of her and her younger sister. Gabriel. I also have a good relationship with the Delico couple after I spent four months at their home which was my reward for saving Fleur. The reason they let me stay at their house was because of my natural immunity to Vela's charm without using any artifact that impressed both Mrs. Delico and Fleur as the latter didn't have many friends due to Vela's charm. But I help her and her sister Gabriel by making a bracelet that can conceal their Vela charm and some other magic artifacts that will help them in training to control their charms. In the last four years, I have developed an interest in ancient runes and after research, I found out that if a wizard uses ancient runes his or her spells would be at least ten times stronger if not more than the wizards who use the normal spell. For example, the Lumos charm creates a ball of light that only lights a small area around it, but if I were to use Lux, the Latin word for light, then it will light the whole room I am present in and I can even control the intensity of light, its color, and area of effect with that single ancient rune. I waited for 10 minutes more, during which I ordered two cups of coffee and then I said, Astrid can you tell me where Ted is and how much time will he take to contact me? Astrid answers me in my mind after checking at him through the monitoring feature of Haven which allows me to monitor anyone whom I have marked. Tunks is still working on the decoration of his house and it would take him 5 minutes more before he contacts you. In the past few years, I have also created an information gathering organization that also works as my personal army, whose members are my shadow servants created by me with the help of my skill, shadow servant creation that I got from defeating a dungeon boss three years ago. It allows me to create servants with the skill of my choice at the price of my ether energy. I have a couple, named Mark and Beth who works as the head of the organization. This organization works in the shadows. No one knows about their existence as no one who has seen or heard them is left alive. Some of my shadow servants' common skills are shadow control, shadow teleportation, stealth, assassination, Memory transfer allowing one to transfer his selected memory to another person voluntarily, and many others like fighting and shadow magic with many others. I have given them a place to stay in a separate dimension inside Haven. Their work is to collect information in the Ma'al world and wizarding world and protection of people important to me like the Tunks family and the Dilakor family. Every female is protected by females while the males are guarded by a male shadow servant from shadows that did not intervene in their lives. In the last four years, I have also reached level 48 as I focus on my basics as I travel to many countries collecting many new ancient rune characters. In total, I currently know 664, and with only the use of 30 out of them, I can easily stand against 40 Death Eaters. As I finish thinking that, I feel heat near the breast pocket area of my coat. Then I pulled out a rectangular silver plate of metal on which a message suddenly appeared word by word saying you can come now. Reading Ted's message, I put back the metal plate in my pocket. Standing up from my seat I walked near the fireplace, scooping a handful of flu powder and throwing it into the fireplace. A large green flame appeared in place of the usual red one signaling that now it is connected to the flu network. Then standing inside the fireplace I once again scoop a handful of flu powder and throw it on my foot while saying the name of my destination which resulted in me being engulfed by a large green flame and being teleported to the fireplace in Tunk's residence. Thank you for listening. Like and share this video and subscribe the channel for notification alert for the continuation of this audiobooks.